Good evening, Valley Middle. Welcome to our second lesson on probability, where we learn to express the probability of a simple event as a decimal. Our trivia question tonight is, who is this guy? I don't think you know who he is, but you know all about him. Many of you have seen a movie, that's your clue. Let's get to the official target for tonight. 9.1b. I can express the probability of a simple event as a decimal. Let's do this thing. Here's a spin ride design to do decide what we'll do each day during advisory. What is the probability of having free time in advisory? Well, we need to express our answer as a decimal. So the first thing we need to do is find out how many possibilities there are. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five possible outcomes, and that's my denominator. We learned that last night. There's only one chance of having free time. So we have a one in five chance of having free time. If I pop that into my calculator, and I take and divide 1 divided by 5, I get 0.2. And that's my answer as a decimal. That's what we're going to be doing tonight. It's kind of a review of last night's lesson, except for we add in using the calculator to turn our answer from a fraction into a decimal. Quick review. Don't forget that an outcome is any one of the possible results of an action. Every time I spin this dice, there's a 1 in 6 chance I'll get one of those numbers. So it, it could be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or 6. Those are all my possible outcomes. The probability, then, is the chance of that event happening. Let's take a look at this one here. We want to know what the probability of rolling an odd number is. Well, I could roll a 1, I could roll a 3, I could roll a 6. Wrong. I could roll a 1, I could roll a 3, I could roll a 5. I have three chances out of 6 of rolling an odd number. 3 divided by 6. Our answer as a decimal is 0.5. Just like my probability of rolling a 5 or a 6, there's only two chances out of 6, because I could roll a 5 or I could roll a 6. All the other answers don't work. That becomes 0.33 or 0.3 repeating. If you put it into the calculator, you're going to get 0.3333, so 0.3 repeating. Don't forget, the abbreviation for probability is P. Let's work through some of these examples. Uh, what is the probability of this spinner here landing on blue? Same lesson as before. What's the probability of it landing on blue? So we have to, first of all, count the possible outcomes. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, red, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have a total of 8 possible outcomes. That's my denominator. And how many of the possible outcomes are favorable? Well, I'm looking for blue. There are two blues. So I have 2 out of 8 chance of uh, getting blue. Now... We could reduce that if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. You can just take and put into your calculator 2 divided by 8, and you're going to get 0.25. That is the decimal. If you simplified it and did 1 divided by 4, it would also be 0.25. So instead of simplifying tonight, we're just going to pop them into the calculator and get the decimal. All right, your turn. Find what the probability of getting a gray square, or a gray triangle if you were to spin. Go ahead and take a look at it. All right, let's see how you did. Well, there's only one gray, sli or gray slice up there, and so the, your chances are one out of eight. Is that your answer? No, sir. No, ma'am. You need to put it as a decimal. So if you divide one by eight on your calculator, you're going to get 0.125. Hopefully you know that one eighth equals 0.125 as a decimal. That should be review. All right, what is the probability up here of rolling a number that is less than 3? Same thing. Number 1, probability of a number less than 3. All right, how many possible outcomes there are? Are there? Well, there's a total of 6. So put down 6 as the denominator. The favorable outcomes, so numbers less than, uh, less than 3, I only have 1 or 2, so it's 2 Six. There are all my possible outcomes down there. There's only these two that are less than three. Two six. We already had that one in the warm up. If I make that into a decimal, whoo, it's point three repeating. Okay, your turn on this same die up here. What is the probability of getting an even number? Go ahead and pause it. Don't forget to turn it into a decimal. Go. Let's see how you did. Well, there are three chances out of six 
you could get the outcomes 2, 4, or 6, and expressed as a decimal, that's 0.5. Congratulations, you're done with your second problem for the night. Only one more before the ticket to the show. All right, but this one's a doozy. This is the kind of problem we like to give on tests and quizzes because it requires you to think a little bit. There are 50 marbles in this jar. There are 12 red, 12 green, 12 blue, and the rest are yellow. What is the probability of choosing a yellow marble? Well, first of all, we've got to figure out how many yellow marbles there are. And they've given us all the information. So, what I did was, there's a total of 50 marbles, so I can put that number right down there. They told us that. That's my denominator. But, we know that we have 12 red, 12 green, and 12 blue, so that's 36. If I take 50 and I subtract 36, I'm going to get the total number of yellow. This is actually blue here. So I have 14 yellow marbles. So that becomes my numerator. 14 out of 50 chance of pulling a yellow. Just get grab your calculator and divide that. 14 divided by 50. Not clicking real well tonight. I get 0.28. And there's my answer right there as a decimal, 0.28. Okay, your turn. Same question, same marble jar. What is the probability of getting a red or a blue marble when you choose? Go ahead. Scroll this up so you can see. Let's see how you did. Gotta scroll down a little bit. Well, there are 12 of each of that color, 12 red and 12 blue, so there's a total of 24 out of Possible, possible 50 different marbles. So 24 out of 50, but that's not your answer. If you divide 24 divided by 50, you are going to get 48. So you have a 0.48 chance of drawing out a red or a blue marble. All right, good job. Time for the ticket to the show. Very similar to last night, but I did change it. Here's the spinner. What is the probability of getting an even number? An even number that is greater than 6. Hmm, kind of tricky. An even number greater than 6. There's a total of 10 on here. And then the second problem, what is the probability of just getting an even number? Don't forget, express your answer as a decimal. I'll give you a second to look at that. All right, let's get to the trivia question of the night. Who is this dude? This dude happens to be Captain Phillips from the famous movie. Tom Hanks is right here. He looks like Captain Phillips, doesn't he? And then who's this guy in the background hiding? Well, he's actually from Minnesota, and he is up tonight for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. He was fantastic. His name is Barkat Abdi, uh, and I hope he gets it. Tonight is March 2nd. Uh, by the time you view this video, you'll know whether he received it or not. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good evening.